we need to address the funeral. Cause like you said, that was. Wow. Uh, can we talk? Can we talk about that quickly? Yeah, we can because the because funeral, the it. funeral was something. Man, because you it. you spoke some stuff on here before. Yeah. yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Mm. I, I, I'm yeah, telling you, I, how, what, this three six mafia thing. He loved them boys too. Yeah, what was? Yeah. How did he build that relationship? I know you would know that. We finna get off of here, but closer to when they was in it after he moved to Atlanta. When they was working on the, uh, so that was something too. Yeah, uh, you ever you get a chance to rock with with them all together, man? He was at the, Paul, was at the video Paul, shoot. No, I know that, but I'm hey, talking about other essences. Paul, listen, Paul Juicy J called me all the time. A Boy M J G, everybody in hip hop, man. No, I'm not, I'm not bragging. Paul no, was at the no, you. About, they fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Me, they fuck with me. I've been on the phone with these niggas because you got to remember. You know what I'm saying. Me, you know, I had relationships predating them. Yeah, yeah. So as they began to mature, it, like Lil John, like meeting me is like how you said, you know, when you yeah, met when me, I met you, when, yeah. Lil John meeting me was like a great honor because you got to remember it was, it was Jermaine Dupri before Lil John and Too Short. So I'm at the uh, video shoot with Too Short, and that's how I meet Lil John. The next day, I ordered him a pimp cup. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Hmm. That's the whole pimp cup. He'll tell you, go read the double XA. He said, came from Pimp and Ken. So I have a lot of relationships, but I'm not the type of person to go around bragging and, oh, I know this nigga. See, if you don't never talk to me about that, I'm a, I, you going to catch me in Shop Town Mall. You're going to catch me in the mall selling DVDs. And you're going to say, that nigga broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's what you're going to say. I never thought that. I thought no, you were a hustler I, like me. But, but, what I, but, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, niggas don't know. The same nigga that you you buying a DVD from is the same nigga you're going to see. I have five videos on BET Countdown yeah. at the same time. I know. That I was featured in. Or, you know, I was on the first, the top ten albums. You know, and they got to remember, when, 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 when your mama got through fucking you and you got 24 years old, Ken still receiving publishing. 24 wow. years later hmm. since that song. So you was born at the date the song was up, but I'm still, I, I can show you my emails, I'm still receiving money from ASCAP and BMI. I still wow. receive publishing, and so I probably get more publishers than a lot of rappers because I've been on more albums than, than a lot, lot of rappers. rappers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just a down to earth nigga, street nigga, man. so you gonna see me everywhere. I, I just wanna say thank you, man. Appreciate you for coming on the show, and thank you for every time I ever met you in the streets, wherever we was at, for yeah. keeping it 100, you wasn't Hollywood, never in life. I'm not Hollywood. I, I could never do that either. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hey, hey next know. time you come, we need to address the funeral. Because like you said, that was... Wow. Uh, can, we talk, can we talk about that quickly? Yeah, well, we can because the, because funeral, the funeral was something, man, because you, you. you spoke some stuff on here before. Yeah, what happened was I, I left Dallas. I don't know how I got in touch with Valentino, but Valentino and I followed each other down okay. to Houston. Where do we see you at? At Corey Moe House or, or at the mall? I don't, Somehow we I, I at the Galleria. Was, yeah, probably was at the Galleria. We was at the Galleria, then we went all back to Corey Mo House. Okay. And then we all followed each other to Port Arthur. And that funeral? Man, you know, the, cra <sighs> the craziest thing about that funeral, right? The funeral was big. Yeah. But nobody talked about when we went and viewed the body. Yeah. Only a hundred people was involved. In man, Pimp C head was this big. Stop it, man. Are you serious? Man, it was this big, dog. I mean, you know. He was darker, too. Hey, too, too. He hey, was darker. His, he was darker his, his lips would look like plastic. His, his whole face. So, too short looking at me. We looking at each other like, you know, and everybody just looking at each other like crap. We couldn't even believe the shit we Bro, were the seeing. the casket was so heavy. Dog, that nigga. How they, how they made us carry that casket was w once we pulled up to the uh, cemetery area. We had to carry. You remember we had to carry to that, uh, bro. It was a long walk. They didn't have nothing we could push, push on. We had on to carry it. that thing, and we was talking about Chad laughing at us. He left because we were struggling carrying it. Why do you he think that he looked? Well, he was out. He, like that. he was well, out for so long because 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 he he was there for two days. So what they call that decap? What they call it? Um. The uh, uh, the what they what they call decomposed. it? Decomposed. Decomposed. His body. Decomposed. His body was decomposed. But man, dude. If you would have seen that man, you ever see that uh, that uh, Mega Ever video? Yeah, yeah. It, it was it, it was re 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 it was reminiscence of that man. It was crazy, and it didn't look like my friend. I was like, man, this is crazy. It didn't look like him, bro. It was you like know, it didn't look skin. like him at all. It didn't look like him at all. You the first person that that is. Do you think that up. it was it, it was foul play involved? Yes, that's what I want to bring you. Well, you know, uh, I I believe that you know he ain't down no damn sleep apnea. That's what you believe. I, you know, <laughs> this thing can be serious about Pimp. He gonna say it. I, I mean, you know, Pimp had a lot of enemies. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, it's a lot of ways to, you know, to impose death on motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, in my in my own opinion, opinion. is that, you know, I wasn't there, so I can't really say what happened, but I don't think that it wasn't foul play. You know, when you you know, when when you know, you gotta remember, man, you know, Pimp C had a lot of shit going on. A lot. A lot of shit going on, man. A lot of niggas, you know, you know, they had their hands and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, it could be a lot of different ways. I mean, I had my hand in shit. I had a three million dollar deal with the man. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So everybody everybody was working with Pimp C, you know, but you don't know on what part of that was bad business. Yeah, yeah, because it's so you know, much business. And then, you know, Pimp is a very vocal person, so you don't know who he pissed off. Yeah. You know, so we don't know, can't nobody say for certain what really happened. It's just that, man, you know, whoever, you know, did whatever, man, I think that they're going to have their day in court, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, just because your punishment has been delayed don't mean the arm of the creator has been weakened. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know, and the Bible says you're going to read what you saw. You know what I'm saying? I believe so, it. Because, you know, like I said, I tell people all this time, and I don't say this, you know, in a, in a funny way. When they, when they shot me, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I did a lot of shit to niggas. You know what I'm saying? That was just that was just my past coming back to hunt me. You karma. Know? That was a karma, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, like I said, man, you know, Milwaukee, they call it kill walkie. So everybody on some bullshit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So nigga got to be really, you know, on some bullshit. You know what I mean? And, you know, you know, I, I just think some of the things that I've done in my past might have came back to hunt me. And I think that whoever or whatever was connected with Pimp C Def, it's going to come back to hunt him. You wow. Know? Man, and we hey. might not never know about it, but it might already happen. Yeah, it might have already happened. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.